We live in a time when there are so many algorithms that show us what we want to see when we want to see them. And everything online is curated for us, but there are no algorithms in the archives. Silicon Valley in 10 Objects is a class where students are working through the archives at Stanford to propose a museum exhibition that explores one or another dimension of the history of Silicon Valley and computing technology, technology more broadly, but where the focus is on identifying objects. The Silicon Valley Archives started in the 1980s. It's become the place to go, if, not only if you're studying Silicon Valley history, but if you're interested in more general issues about technology industry, entrepreneurship. The final project in this class will be based on materials that they've viewed in the collection. Rare books, manuscripts, photographs, and the like. One of the first times I was at the Special Collections, I was going through the box, and I was like, oh, this is cool, this is cool. And then I saw the Apple Museum of Tomorrow, right? And then I got an EKG spike. And then from there, I was like, well, I have to open this folder up. That's when really, and then all the fun began. Another great thing about having objects in the classroom is the collaborative aspect. It's been really great to have a lot of people hover over the same object, you know, to be able to discuss, you know, what, you know, these features mean. The first object that I got really excited about when I started doing research was the Whole Earth Catalog. As Steve Jobs described it, it was Google in paperback form. And it basically served as a Bible for the hippie movement and the back to land movement. It was a catalog that had tools you could buy. It talked about cybernetics and computers as small scale technologies that could augment the human mind rather than these big humming machines that the governments owned during the Cold War era. This class brought a lot of excitement to me with history. Just remember just thinking that, I know it's a little cheesy, but it feels like a time machine, really. I was getting to see things that I would not see anywhere else. And so it's just this world that students don't even know exists, but now at the end of this class, they have the key to the city.